Hello everyone, welcome to yoga. My name is Taylor and uh, today we have a fun little flow, but if you regularly use blocks in your practice, recommend grabbing them even if it's just in case, who knows. Um, but today we will actually start standing. So if you wanna head to the front, the top of your mat, take a look at your feet, have them about hip width distance apart, feeling nice and grounded into the earth with your legs and just start to get everything engaged. So really expanding the chest, getting those shoulders back and down. Feel free to close your eyes. If that feels a little unstable, you can just find a focal point and keep your gaze there. Finding length through the neck, bringing your core to the spine. So maybe just having your weight go back just a little bit. And then again, keeping your arms active out through the fingertips. And we'll start with a couple rounds of breath. So on your inhale, really allowing yourself to fill up completely and a nice slow exhale out. Again, inhaling to fill up and exhale to let go. Allowing yourself to be completely present here and using your breath to do that. So we'll inhale this time, bringing our arms up towards the sky and exhale to just release your arms back beside you. Again, inhale arms to the sky and exhale arms beside you. One last time, inhale arms to the sky and exhale arms beside you. This time, inhale arms to the sky, having the palms facing towards each other. And on our exhale, we'll bend into the knees coming into chair pose. So again, in chair, keeping that chest open, feeling that core engagement, and then maybe just sitting a little bit deeper. Inhaling here and exhaling to fold forward. Nice bend in, that in the knees for this first forward fold. Inhale to half lift, so lengthening through the spine. And exhale to fold forward. Inhale, arms to the sky. This time interlacing the hands, bringing the palms towards the sky. And exhale for a side bend over to the right, gazing at the left, left arm, just up towards the left, wherever it feels comfortable. Inhaling back to the sky, exhaling over to the left, gazing at the right. Inhale, arms to the sky, releasing the interlaced fingers, exhale beside you. Inhale, arms to the sky, exhale to your chair. Maybe getting a little bit deeper in your chair, feeling the body warm up a bit. One more inhale here, exhale to fold forward. Inhale to half lift, exhale to fold. Inhale, arms to the sky. Again, interlacing the hands, palms towards the sky. Exhale for a side bend to the right, gazing at the left. Inhale to center. Exhale to the left, gazing at the right. Inhale to center. Releasing the interlaced hands, arms beside you on the exhale. Inhale, arms to the sky. Exhale to fold forward. Inhale to half lift. Exhale, plant the hands right and left leg back into plank. A few rounds of breath here, just still building up some heat, some warmth in the body, but you can always lower the knees down towards the ground. Gazing a few inches past the fingertips, active hands here. Inhaling to fill up completely. Exhale slowly and smoothly. One more inhale. And exhale to lower down towards the ground, untucking the toes, inhaling to cobra, maybe hovering your hands off of the mat. We'll stay in this cobra for an exhale. One more inhale, opening up the chest. 
and exhale to lower down, coming into your down dog. First down dog, so maybe a nice bend in the knees, pedaling out the feet. Maybe you wanna go up to the tippy toes and back down. Whatever you need here. Finding a bit of stillness when you're ready. And then taking in a couple rounds of breath and stillness. And one more inhale. One more exhale. Bending the knees, gazing forward, hop or walk to the front of the mat. Inhaling to half lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale, arms to the sky. Exhale to fold right back down. Inhale to half lift. Exhale, plant the hands, left leg back, low lunge. So I'm gonna keep the back knee lifted. You can always lower that back knee down towards the ground. And as always, if you want a bit more stability, always feel free to grab onto some blocks. But feeling those inner thighs pressing towards each other, Nice round of breath in this low lunge. And then slowly begin to lengthen through that right leg. You can bring your toes off of the mat or keep the toes on the mat. Maybe a little bit of both. And inhale to half lift with two lengthened legs. And an exhale to fold. Nice round of breath here. Thinking long spine, long neck. Maybe a little tuck of the chin, just to really find that extra length through the neck. One more inhale, one more exhale. Slowly bending into that front knee, finding your low lunge once again. Inhaling here, and exhale to bring the right leg to meet the left, lowering down through that exhale, inhaling to your cobra or up dog, opening up that chest wherever you are, and exhale to down dog. A nice inhale through the nose, exhale out through the mouth. <sighs> Gazing forward, bending the knees, hop or walk to the front of the mat, inhaling to half lift, exhale to fold. Inhale, arms to the sky, and exhaling to fold right back down. Inhale to half lift. Exhale, low lunge, right leg back. Nice round of breath here. Again, making any adjustments that you need to. Blocks, no blocks. Feeling those inner thighs pressing towards each other. Long spine. We're relaxing the shoulders. Maybe you're clenching your jaw, so relaxing your face. And we'll begin to lengthen through that left leg. You can explore whether you prefer to keep the toes on the mat or maybe lifting the left toes off of the mat. Maybe a little bit of both. But on our inhale, thinking some length and exhale to maybe fold a little deeper. Couple more rounds of breath here. Keeping that chest open. Slowly bending into the left knee, low lunge, a nice inhale here, and exhale through your vinyasa. As always, vinyasas are optional, so you can go right into your down dog or child's pose or anything else. When you get to your down dog, a nice inhale through the nose, exhale out through the mouth. Gazing forward, hop or walk to the front of the mat. Inhaling to half lift, exhale to fold. Inhale, arms to the sky. This time we'll b exhale into chair, so bending the knees, finding your chair, maybe getting a little bit deeper. 
maybe taking your toes off of the mat and then getting a little bit deeper keeping that core engaged inhaling here exhale to maybe get a little deeper one more inhale exhale to fold forward inhale to half lift exhale through a vinyasa or straight to down dog full breaths through the transition lowering your knees down to the ground coming into tabletop untucking the toes inhaling to open up the chest finding your cow pose and exhaling into cat rounding the spine tucking the chin towards chest a couple more rounds of breath inhaling to open up exhale to round inhale to your cow and exhale to your cat making your way back into your neutral tabletop bringing your right leg back and up to about hip height making sure that the core is engaged on both sides and maybe taking a look at the hip so bringing your left hand to the low back just to make sure that the right hip isn't going up with the leg but both are nice and neutral and then if you'd like a little bit more balance extending the left hand out in front of you so finding a focal point remembering to breathe inhaling here for some length exhale to bend the elbow and knee towards each other inhale to lengthen this time we'll exhale to bend the elbow and knee out towards the sides inhale to lengthen out in front exhale elbow and knee towards each other inhale lengthen exhale out to the sides this time we'll stay here and try to lengthen through the left arm and the right leg out towards the sides so still finding lift in that right leg you will probably feel something right away <laughs> finding your breath here we're going to bring the left hand down to the mat keeping that right leg lifted tucking the left toes under and coming into a one-legged do down dog three-legged down dog sorry with the right leg lifted on your exhale open up the hip so bringing that right foot over to the left inhaling back to your three-legged down dog exhale knee towards nose really finding lift in that right leg pressing the ground away from your hands an inhale here exhale into your low lunge inhale to open up the chest in your low lunge so really finding that length through the spine here exhale to lengthen through that right leg maybe bringing the toes towards the sky inhale back to your low lunge staying here for the exhale inhale arms to the sky crescent lunge couple rounds of breath here so as always making any adjustments maybe you have to bring that left hip a little bit forward right hip back nice bend in the front knee relaxing the shoulders and inhale here exhale to open up warrior two so the feet are perpendicular heel to heel or heel to arch alignment gazing over the right fingertips maybe closing the eyes relaxing the shoulders a bit more if your eyes are closed just seeing what adjustments you can make based off how you feel rather than thinking about what you look like allow your breath to maybe bring yourself a little bit deeper into the posture breathing here 
On our next inhale, we'll bring our arms towards the sky, both feet with a little bit of turnout, but mostly towards the long edge of the mat, so we're in star. And we'll inhale to really open up the chest, bring the arms up towards the sky. Exhale to bring hands to heart center, turning your feet out a bit more to find a horse. So bending at the knees and seeing if we can sink a little bit deeper into the hips, but still keeping the core engaged, still trying to keep the shoulders aligned with the hips. Finding our breath here. A few rounds of breath. Again, relaxing the jaw, the mouth. Maybe getting a little bit deeper. And a little bit deeper. And on your next inhale, lifting back up into your star. Bringing your hands to your hips, feet so they're at the long edge of the mat. Inhaling here and exhaling to hinge at the hips, folding forward. So a wide-legged forward fold. Planting the right hand either on the ground or a block. Inhaling the left arm to the sky for a nice twist. So again, keeping that chest open, broad through the collarbones. Hips are square. One more inhale like this. And exhale to fold. Planting the left hand down. Inhaling the right arm up. A nice twist on this side. Maybe bringing gaze towards the sky. One more inhale. And exhale to release, walking your hands to the front of the mat. So right foot forward, an inhale in your low lunge, and an exhale through your vinyasa or straight to down dog. Inhaling through the nose in your down dog. Exhale out through the mouth, letting go of some heat. Bending the knees, gazing forward, hop or walk to the front of the mat. Inhaling to half lift, exhale to fold. Inhale, arms to the sky, coming into chair on our exhale, so bending the knees. Again, maybe getting a little bit deeper, finding that breath. One more inhale. One more exhale. Inhale, arms to the sky, lengthening in your mountain. Exhale to fold forward. Inhale to half lift. Exhale to plant the hand or plant the hands through a vinyasa or straight to down dog. And again, when we get to our down dog, lowering the knees onto the mat. So finding tabletop. Extending the left leg out behind you. Right leg, right hand out in front. Maybe checking in on the back, on the hips or the belly. Tapping your right hand on the low back. Finding that focal point. Inhaling here. Exhale to bend elbow and knee towards each other. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to bend elbow and knee out towards the sides. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale towards each other. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale out to the sides. This time staying here, extending the right arm, left leg, really finding lift in that leg. Nice round of breath here. And then slowly lowering the right hand to the mat, tucking the right toes under, lifting into your three-legged dog, left leg lifts. Exhale to open up the hip here. Nice breath. Inhale back to your three-legged dog. Exhale, knee towards nose, really finding that lift with the left leg. Pressing the ground away from your hands. 
Inhaling here, exhale to your low lunge. And inhale to open up the chest, finding that length. Exhale to lengthen through the left leg, toes towards the sky. Inhaling back to your low lunge, staying here for an exhale, and inhaling to your crescent lunge. Again, taking a moment to get comfortable here, a nice bend in that front knee, seeing if you need to bring the right hip forward at all. Finding that breath. One more inhale, exhale to open up to your warrior two, making adjustments with the feet, relaxing the shoulders, nice bend in that front knee, and then maybe gazing over the left fingertips, maybe closing the eyes, and then again, as you find your breath, making little adjustments Seeing where you can soften a little bit, where you can lengthen. One more round here. Inhaling to our star, arms to the sky, a little turn out with the feet opening up the chest. Exhale, hands to heart center, turning out the feet a bit more as we bend into the knees, finding our horse. Seeing if we can open that chest just a little bit more as we keep the shoulders stacked onto the hips. Maybe getting a little bit deeper. Maybe taking the right heel off of the mat and then bringing it back down, taking the left heel off of the mat, and then bringing it back down. Maybe both heels off of the mat, a little bit of shaking, and releasing your heels down. Inhaling to your star, opening up the chest once again. Exhale, hands to your hips, feet towards the long edge of the mat, and exhale to hinge and fold. You want to just work on lengthening the spine on your inhales, exhaling to fold. Maybe you want to find a twist on both sides again. Or walking the hands to one foot and the other. Maybe some side lunges, bending into one knee and then the other knee. Whatever you need here couple more rounds of breath. And again, paying attention to where the weight is distributed in your feet. Trying to keep it nice and even. Shaking the head yes and no. And then slowly walking the hands once again to the front of the mat into your low lunge. An inhale here, and then exhale through your vinyasa or straight to down dog. When you get to down dog, bringing the knees to the mat, big toes to touch, finding your child's pose. few rounds of breath in this child. This will be our last posture before some breathing. Maybe you want to stay still. Maybe you want to walk your hands over to the left for a little side stretch.
And then walk your hands over to the right. Making your way back into center. One more nice round of breath here. And then we'll slowly make our way into a seated position. Anyone that feels comfortable for you today, so just cross-legged, maybe you want to sit on a block or anything like that. And we are going to do a little breath of fire. Um, if you've never practiced this to before, we will, I'll give you some instructions. Um, it's best to be done on an empty stomach. So your choice, you, if you want to just do some deep belly breaths instead, feel free. But basically with breath of fire, it is an active exhale, passive inhale. So on your exhale, it will feel like your n belly button is going towards your spine. So it'll kind of be like, and then you'll, your inhale will be passive. So again, it, it's kind of, and then your belly just kind of, comes out with your inhale. So it'll be about 30, we'll do like about 30 and then go into some belly breaths. So going whenever you're ready, it'll be and then into your diaphragmatic breath. So Inhaling deep, exhaling deep. So we'll do that one more round of your of your breath of fire when you're ready. again some belly breaths if you really enjoyed that and you'd like to do another round this is your time too but if you're feeling good after that um, that is what I will guide you through today so thank you all for sharing this practice it was nice and active um, and yeah thank you as always namaste